This is the woman who refused to be subservient to Adam. At least, it's one depiction of her. There are actually various representations of Lilith at this exhibit called Feminine Power, the Divine to the Demonic. It's the British Museum's way of showing how one man's demon is another woman's goddess. She's also a figure that has had her reputation somewhat embraced um, in later Western feminist movements where she is now viewed often as a symbol of equality and resistance. Many works here represent the different roles that goddesses, demons, witches and spirits have played throughout history, like this one that shows how female autonomy and ambition are framed as dangerous to society. Here we have um, a Hanya mask which is used in Japanese no theatre to depict a Kijo demon. And Kijo demon are women who have, mortal women who have transformed into demons through the strength of their emotion and rage, often linked to jealousy. But the exhibition doesn't only focus on suppressed femininity. There's the icon of Kali, the Hindu goddess of destruction and salvation. And here's a porcelain figure of Guanyin, China's goddess of mercy. Curator Belinda Crera says these artworks emphasize that there are so many other ways of depicting femininity. So what I hope that visitors will encounter in this exhibition are ideas that um, are perhaps new and unfamiliar and inspiring and that will prompt um, thought beyond our own cultural constructs. And that I find very exciting to inspire conversation about new ways of thinking about very old ideas. Because while Lilith was a cautionary tale in ancient times, she even had an entire music festival named after her, all in the spirit of female empowerment. Music